Okay, I'm here with Norman Stadler, obviously a legend of triathlon, uh, two-time winner of Hawaii Ironman. Uh, he's here at the Best Center. He's just spent three weeks here training with us, and we're gonna ask him ten of the best. So, question number one, Norman. I've had three weeks here. I just said, uh, what's what's your main focus been uh, in the last three weeks here in Mallorca? Uh, to survive. <laughs> I was here with Marina, so. The main focus was surviving. The first camp with him uh, together, just him and me, and uh, I know that he's a very strong uh, athlete in training. And uh, I'm not lazy, but I, I did not that much over the past years in in, 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 in volume. So it, for me, it was a big training volume here, especially on the bike. We did 280 kilometer rides, and uh, I think four or five more, more than 200 k. So. And the focus here was also swimming. I don't like swimming really, but uh, you get better if you swim. And if you swim much more than normally, you get much more better, I hope. So, but also for me, it was a, I swim at the 25 meter pool in Germany, and now here with the 50 meter pool. It, it, yeah, everyone tells me it's faster, but uh, fast pool, but it's not fast pool for me. Yet. <laughs> But I think the problem was for me to be overall tired from all the training, from yeah. the volume. So I think it's going to come back soon uh, in, in Germany. Cycling, obviously, your strong point. Uh, tell us a bit about the cycling on the island. It's perfect. Uh, it's my 22nd year in triathlon, and every year I was here for training, mostly uh, in, in Eastern time. Mm. Eastern time. Uh, the first time for me, it's the training camp before Hawaii here, but we had no, not one day rain in three weeks and always 30, 35 inland and up to 41 we had, 42 the last few days. And it's, it's perfect, road conditions are great, uh, not much traffic because all the people are at the beach and uh, not inland. So the mountains are not close, but uh, yeah, it's 50k, 45k to the mountain, so it's, it's perfect here. Excellent. Um, Marino just told us something about how many hours a day training. Were you doing exactly the same as Marino, or...? I did a little bit less. Yeah. Uh, not much less, but uh, I... Yeah. Is that an is. age thing? No, no, yeah, maybe. <laughs> he, did, he did some uh, longer swims with 7, 7.5k, and, and I, I can't do that. Uh, I did 5, 5.5k. And that's fine for me, but the rest we did together. Okay. Um, so your focus again, obviously, Hawaii. Uh, what are your chances in Hawaii? I think you want to tell us about Marino's chances as well, I think. My chances are the same like every year. Yeah. I'm still able to, to be one of the main main guys there yeah. in Hawaii, and I know how to race Hawaii. I won twice, and I finished I think, three times fourth, and one time third place. So. I know the island, I know the race, and uh, I'm still I'm still okay. I I did a good race in Ross till I dropped out of the race and uh, did a few good races before. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, and for me, Marino is one of the main guys to, to win Hawaii this year. Mm -hmm. He had the chance to win Hawaii. He's so strong. He did a 752 in Austria, mm -hmm. uh, all day in front. No big. Uh, pressure for him, so I think if he stays uh, healthy and mm. fit and uh, is tapering a little bit, yeah. do not too much, he will be one of the guys to beat. Guys to beat. Uh, you've just said you, you've won Hawaii twice, um, you've done it pretty much everything in, in, in the world of triathlon, have you got anything else to prove? Uh, not really, but there's still a lot of pressure because you won Hawaii twice, and you are always. If you go to Hawaii, you are the main, one of the main guys to beat, and they still uh, call you the one of the top guys in Hawaii. It's good yeah. that people still talk about you, so you are uh, still there. But uh, I don't have anything to prove. Yeah. I won Hawaii twice. I won the Duathlon World Championships. I national champion. So I won Ironman races all over the world. But yes, I'm still competitive and uh, I like to be on top. Good.
Um, you've obviously been in triathlon, I think you said 23 years? 20, just, yeah. I started 87. 87. What's, what's the biggest changes you've seen in, in that, that period in the world of triathlon? The biggest change was the drafting yeah. for me, Olympic distance. So I was a national team Olympic distance, then I, I they changed the rules and it was drafting. And yeah. for me, as a not so good swimmer, it was a time to to uh, go somewhere else. And I decided to go to the Ironman. And uh, I think still the Ironman is uh, it's the name, it's uh, the mythos, it's Hawaii, yeah. it's Ironman, and uh, I won this race twice. And uh, I think that's the biggest change. Awesome. Um, obviously you're doing lots of hours and hours on end of training. How, how do you cope with that? How do you turn off? How do you, your mind, how does your mind deal with all those hours of training? Uh, you know, it's my job yeah. and I love my job. Yeah. I'm, see, I'm, what's, I, how is it called, privileged? Privileged. To do that, I started as a hobby and now it's my, it's my, it's my work mm. and uh, I get paid paid for uh, riding my bike, running and, uh, and swimming and uh, but still go sitting on my bike for nine hours like we did a few days ago mm. it's, yeah, it's, it's a big deal for me yeah. and I was so proud after it was yeah. my longest ride ever so really yeah, yeah 280 k yeah. it's, it's, it's a long day That's a long and, way. Uh, yeah. especially with uh, already two weeks in, uh, of training. Yeah. and a uh, lot of volume so it's but yeah I love what I do and that it's easy to, to focus and start every day excellent okay any young triathletes but in Ironman here watching right now this is a tip from the top from Marine uh, from Norman this is a, the tip from the legend of triathlon what's your big tip for your advice how do you be become the best Ironman in the world like I said you have to love what you do mm -hmm. and if, if you love it and and, and, and and keep going. Uh, maybe one day it's, it's uh, payday or your day, but it's a big decision because uh, now there are so many good guys in the world and they all train a lot. And uh, it's not easy to make money or to be even close to the top in the world. And so it's uh, yeah. I don't know if, if I would do the step again, but uh, yeah. Just love what you do. It's hard training. It's you have to focus. You have to do your sport, and you have to cut everything around. So yeah, but it's fun. Good. Um, the best center here in Colonia San Jordi. Brand new pool. Uh, been okay for you? Yeah, but it's 52 meters. <laughs> <laughs> The lanes are much longer. We've had so some fast days. swimming at this pool. <laughs> I heard, but I haven't seen that yet. So no, it, it, it's perfect. Uh, perfect conditions. Uh, it's close to the hotel. It's a uh, so short walk in the morning or in the evening to go to the pool. And uh, the stuff here is professional and friendly. And uh, like I said, every day, best conditions. Thanks. So, number 10, last question. The future. What's the future for Norman Stadler? I think I will have another two good years, I hope, uh, and then I will stay in the sport. What I do exactly, I don't know. Maybe a rep for one of my sponsors, or being a coach, or like personal training, or working for one of my sponsors. I don't know, but I for sure I will stay in the sport. Excellent. Good. Thank you very much, Norman. Cheers.